Hey everybody! So, in addition to revamping my channel, I'm also revamping this series, my unboxing series. Instead of doing a separate for Ipsy and a separate for Birchbox, I'm going to be doing Ipsy versus Birchbox. So because we're doing Ipsy versus Birchbox, the new thing I'm going to be doing is rating my boxes and bags. So I'm going to start with Ipsy. If you're more of a Birchbox fan, don't worry, in the description below I'm going to put what time the Birchbox starts and you can just skip ahead to that. But if you're an Ipsy lover just like I am as well, break out your little pink packages and let's get to talking about Ipsy. So the first thing I saw when I opened up the package is of course the Dreamers April Ipsy card. Last month was Hello Spring, this month is Dreamers, which is okay because like the gloomy raininess of April definitely is good for dreaming. And then we get to the bag. This bag is gorgeous, probably my most favorite bag that Ipsy has had so far. Look at this, how beautiful that is. Okay, let's open this. So in this bag they have a Luxie beauty brush called Luxie 552 tapered slash highlighting brush I always love when I get brushes thankfully I mean I've heard that not a lot of people get brushes every month but I've got one last month and this month I'm hoping the trend continues of course I give the brush a 5 out of 5 softness and being a brush in general automatically gets you a 5 not even gonna lie. Now I gotta kind of confess I already opened up this bag. I was too excited when I got it. I waited for the birch box and that came yesterday so I already opened the bag and I wanted to actually show you guys the color of the next item. The next item I got was the Viades New York Gel Effect Organic Infused Nail Lacquer. Basically nail polish. It is a beautiful gray color. I wasn't really a fan of the color whenever I first saw the bottle, but I put the color on and look at the color of those nails. Such a beautiful shiny color. I actually give a 5 out of 5 because of the fact that even though I'm not really big on nail polish, this was a color I never would have picked for myself. So it's kind of cool to get it in an Ipsy bag because I don't think I would own this if it wasn't for Ipsy. And it gave me an excuse to do my nails, which I don't do very often. So I'm happy about that. Now, here's something I'm not really, like, ecstatic about. But it's Moroccan oil, Moroccan oil treatment for hair. Now, the reason I'm not really a fan of this is because of the fact that I am Italian. Anybody knows Italians, they know that we have oily hair. Because of the fact it's oil... It automatically gets a one. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sure it's a great product. I'm sure it is. I'm just saying personally for me, not something I would probably want in a bag. Next thing in here is an eyeshadow. I'm really happy when I get these. You know me by now. I love my neutrals. I love my browns, my golds. Love them. De Desert Sands, you could not pick. A better color for me. I, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a swatch of this. As you can see like it's it's a beautiful golden color basically. I give the Nomad Desert Sands a 5 out of 5 because of how well it's going to fit me and the makeup that I apply. And the last thing I was so excited to get. I have heard so much about Tarte Cosmetics. It's Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Cream, basically a lip crayon in the color Wonder. It's like an orangey red, not something that I usually wear. It is a gorgeous shade though, so I'm definitely going to be wearing it, but not something I would wear like unless I was doing a like look that tailored to that color, I guess you would say. Not something I would wear in like a normal day to day, but because it's tart and because it is good consistency, 
4 out of 5. Definitely. And I'm going to be giving my Ipsy bag a rating. The bag itself, I give a 5 out of 5. That bag is just gorgeous. So overall, I give this April 2016 Ipsy bag maybe a 4 out of 5. I really love the bag itself. I love some of the products I got. Some of them were off the mark. The color of the Tarte Cosmetics and the Moroccan oil itself brought it way down. But besides that, 4 out of 5, still recommend it. Loved it. So, let's see if Birchbox can beat a 4 out of 5. So the first thing I see, of course, as always, I got the little print out of everything that I got in my box this month. I always love this so when I'm telling you guys what I got in my box, I have something to refer back to. First thing I see, hmm, and smell, is the Notting Hill Femme Perfume. This smells really good. It is full size $25 to $70 according to the little printout. Pretty steep, but I'm going to rate this product because of the scent. Mm, it just it smells so good. I'm going to give this a 5 because that, that smells bomb, dude. That smells good. Okay, next thing. You see the smile, you know what's coming. An eyeshadow sampler, formal eyes eyeshadow sampler, of course, in neutrals. Let me do a little swatch. You know I have to swatch it up. I have got to swatch it. Now the worst part about the neutrals, I'd say the only bad part about neutrals, is that the tans are always hard to swatch. This one doesn't have as much pigmentation as the other one that I got. But now if you guys are wondering why I always use my hands whenever I'm showing you guys swatches, I'm a big girl. My, like, my arms do not move in, like, contorted ways. So, hands it is. So, ignore the bottom one. That one is the one I got Nipsey. But, like, right here, this little bruised-looking one, that's the brown. And the lighter one is the tan. You guys probably can't even see this because of how light it is. But that originally, the Coastal Sense Style Eyes Eyeshadow Palette is full size $12. I want to give them a 5 so badly because I love neutrals. But there's really hardly any pigmentation. And when I went to give you guys a swatch, I could hardly even see it on my hand, let alone show it to the camera. So I'm going to give these a 3 because... I would give it 5 in how it adheres to me, like it's fit for me. Neutrals, eyeshadow, perfect. I'd say like a 3 just based on pigmentation. If this was, had better pigmentation, I would be all over this. So 3 for this. Next thing we have is this Green Apple Age Defy Moisturizer. And it is anti-aging, reduces appearances of wrinkles, and is firming, which is great for me because I've got wrinkles everywhere. I don't even know how. I'm 23 years old. But anyways, full size, this is $45. I rate this a 4 because even though this isn't something I would normally get for myself, it's definitely going to help me out. It really is. Next thing is Burt's Bees Sweet Violet Tinted Lip Balm. See, Ipsy, look at this. A purplish, reddish type of color. Not orangey red, purplish red. I love Burt's Bees. I actually have another one of these in a different color. Or had. You can never keep track of these things. I swear. I'll have one and then it'll be gone two seconds later as if like I it dropped out of thin air these things aren't cheap stop disappearing anyways I have another one in a different color it's a very subtle color but I like it it moisturizes my lips and I have very very dry lips and I can always put a lip gloss over it 
So this is a 5 out of 5. Next thing I see, I love getting these. I've bought these a lot recently. I have shampoo and conditioners here. They're cute little packets too. They remind me of like those ones you get when you dye your hair. But it is, I don't know how to pronounce this. Oi or O-I. We'll say O-I so I don't sound stupid saying oi. Absolutely beautifying shampoo. Absolutely beautifying conditioner for all hair types. You guys give me shampoo and conditioner and that just means I don't have to go to the store and buy some. So I'm always good with this. Keep sending more of these. Five out of five for shampoo and conditioner. Just for the type alone. So this next thing, I'm kind of confused as to what it is. It says OI all-in-one milk from Davines, just like the shampoo and conditioner. Milk for hair is kind of a weird thing, but you know, I'll go with it. It says multi-benefit beauty treatments and for all hair types. Now, I was thinking when I saw this, it has to be an oil just like the Ipsy. I don't know if it's the theme of April. Did everybody else know this and not me? That in April you get hair oil? I'm not sure. They told me I was getting products on the preview. I ended up getting a box that had completely different products. And I've read on the site they it can do that if they run out. So I don't know if they even know that I got this, let alone to send it again. If they do send it again, of course I'm going to be saying like, you know, really don't like hair milk or hair oil. So because of the fact that it is oil, one out of five, brings whole birch box down. I was so excited about this one. I thought this was one was going to be MVP. Now because birch box doesn't have a bag, I'm going to go on that rating based on their design of their box. And I kind of like it. It's like a nature kind of box. It's kind of cool. I think both boxes, I'm going to be honest here, both boxes were kind of off the mark this month. The birch box, I'd say, was more off the mark than Ipsy was. The hair oil brings it down, and the fact that the eyeshadow wasn't very pigmented. I actually have Wet n Wild eyeshadows that are 99 cents that are more pigmented than the Coastal Senses. So because of those, and the fact that I didn't even get the products that they told me in my sneak peek I was going to get and that they're expecting me to review. All of those things combined, I'd say that I give this month's Birch Box a 2 out of 5 think I'd go with 2 out of 5. So when it comes down to the death match of April 2016 boxes, Ipsy versus Birch Box, gotta give it to Ipsy with the 4 out of 5, Birch Box with a 2 out of 5, Ipsy is the champion this month. Yay Ipsy! So to subscribe to Ipsy and Birch Box, I'll put those in the description below. I still recommend this service even though the ones were kind of off the mark this month i do like that i have some new stuff to put in my makeup collection and i'm sure next month will be even better thank you guys for joining me for this month's unboxing of ipsy and birch box and i will see you on wednesday for my next video bye Hey gorgeous people, I'd love it if you'd like and share this video. To watch the previous video, click on the video itself. And subscribe to my channel for new videos every Sunday and Wednesday. Follow me on social media and don't ever be afraid to ask questions. And I will see you in my next video.